So, pretty good extension forward. Uh, rotation, where your, your body rotation is pretty good. Good uh, body position that you're level in the, in the water, your hips and legs are not too low, and your breathing looks comfortable. So, doing a good job of just turning the breathe without lifting your head. Your hands are entering the water very close to your head, and my feeling is that it tends to cause a little bit of constriction. So you could essentially have your hand enter the water just a little further up. So instead of right in front of your head, go up another four or five inches. And that over time, probably take a little bit of stress off your shoulders. So here you can see good side to side rotation and your your legs are staying in alignment or staying streamlined as you swim meaning they're staying behind your torso some people their legs swivel side to side and cause a lot of drag You're also doing a good job of uh, reaching directly forward, so you're not crossing over at all. The crossover is when somebody's hand comes in front of their head or goes across to the other side of their body. So all the above water stuff is pretty good. So your uh, major improvement is going to come from below water or your pull and there's uh, a couple things going on. The, the first one is that you're doing that straight arm pull, if you recall that discussion. So the straight arm is the second best way to swim freestyle, but if you can get the high elbow catch, that's going to be the most effective way to swim. Uh, the second issue is that as you get past about midway in the stroke, you can see that your hands start to rotate inward, meaning they're not staying flat or parallel to the, the back wall of the pool. So when your hands rotate inward, you start to lose um, push or leverage. And it's more on your left than your right. So, excuse me. In an ideal world, you're going to keep that hand flat to the back wall for as far as possible, and then really push through the entire stroke. On some of them, you're sort of uh, winding it down, you know, two thirds of the way, and you really want to push all the way through to get the most most uh, out of it. And then here, you get a good view of the line that you're pulling through. So you're pulling pretty much a straight line back, which is what I advise people to do. That's a good job. Uh, if you can get a more of a high elbow, you're going to see more of a your your hand and form will be a little wider to the side with the high elbow catch. But that was a good job of pulling straight through. So what you look at here is your upper arm and your forearm are just one line when viewed from the side, and you would want to see that hand and form pivot down or go vertical relative to the bottom of the pool very early in the stroke. That's the essence of the high elbow catch, also called early vertical forearm. Uh, same thing going on with your left arm here, just uh, mostly a straight arm pull through. And then a little bit of the elbow leading the stroke back once you get to this point. So you want to see the hand and forearm go vertical and stay vertical through the entire stroke. That's the ideal stroke, but pretty good job. Hope this helps.